Welcome to Boss Automotive. 2018 Alfa Romeo Giulietti AWD, Race Organizer Review. In which your race organizer takes an energetic Italian vehicle to Sears Point. I'll be straightforward, I should drive a Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid amid my outing to California to work at the 2017 Asfriza Palooza 24 Hours of Lemons Race at Sonoma Raceway, since I discovered that racers are continually looking for many events, as a major aspect of a push to achieve all road auto needs with as couple of vehicles as could be allowed, leaving more space and cash for race autos, when I took a Sienna to the BFE GP race over the mid-year. At last. The Pacifica wasn't accessible, so the people at FCA drop off this Giuliati AWD. Things being what they are, the racers at the 17 Asprey's were entranced by the new Giulia, mostly in light of the fact that all auto monstrosities adore alphas and halfway on the grounds that this auto invested quite a bit of its energy at the track stop beside the delightfully re-established, and day by day driven, 1965 Giulia Sprint specially possessed by 24 hours of Lemons Operations Manager Jeff Glenn. While the 17 Giulia is quicker, more productive, and more agreeable, the 65 Giulia is. Well, simply take a gander at it. My auto had the Tilasso light wood package, $2,250, with cowhide seats and entryway boards in addition to great looking wood trim, and it gave me the desire to wear a top of the line TV minister review silk suitor and move a couple of bags of penumbral economy money to a mystery seaward holding organization, perhaps complete a touch of keeping an eye on the side. The calfskin in this auto smells okay, and I'd say it's justified regardless of the additional couple of excellent. The driving experiences of a race organizer include heading to and from the track while pulling hardware and collaborators, at that point driving around race offices at around 15 miles per hour, not cutting zeniths on wonderfully betrayed for the event waterfront throughways. Thus, I can't state how the Giulietti AWD performs at the point of confinement, I can state that the directing is brisk and touchy, the increasing speed is respectable, and grasp is adequate to permit strong on and exit tramp speeds. I observed the Giulia to be valuable in the everyday sense, as I drove it the 50 miles every approach to and from Sonoma Raceway. It's much more fun, and cooler looking, than, say, a Lexus S350, and the choice of the saucy Giulia over the state S shows more mischievousness in the driver's seat. In like manner, a BMW 3 Series or Audi A4 winds up being a more secure, more preservationist decision than the Giulia, and keeping in mind that I'd wagered expansive cash that a Lexus will have less mechanical issues than an Alfa Romeo car, I think I'd lay even cash on the Alfa versus its German rivals in the long-haul dependability division. And the Alfa's sticker price is extremely enticing when contrasted with alternate cars. Proceeding the current Giulia, we hadn't possessed the capacity to purchase an Alfa Romeo vehicle in this nation since the moderate of Ring 164 in the mid-1990s, and that auto had front-wheel drive. The new Giulia looks like a marginally threatening-looking Italian vehicle. A lot of Alfa Romeo's content in the 24 hours of lemons, generally Milano's yet the incidental GTV6 or Spider appears. We have discovered that a Milano is snappier on a street course than the same year BMW 3 Series, yet is considerably more hard to settle when something breaks. Since the Giulia is a legitimate Italian auto, custom requires that it have some insane making peculiarities. I'm not going to call the guiding wheel mounted starter catch a characteristic, yet envisioning the destiny of those electrical contacts after 50,000 or so miles influenced me to feel somewhat uneasy. All the more promptly. The recreation center help framework is touchy to a level I'd call terrified, booming and enduring dental specialist for tone upon start startup if the auto is stopped inside a couple of feet of another auto, a carport divider, a heap of leaves, whatever, you can impair it, yet this must be done each time you start up the auto. The panic catch on the key dandy is the biggest and most available control, and it activated accidentally in my pocket about six times amid my six days with the auto. In the event that I possessed this auto, I would open up the dandy's case and desolder the connectors to the panic switch, in light of the fact that generally my furious neighbors would set the auto ablaze after day-by-day -day horn blaring sessions. One final disturbance was the constrained headroom, I'm just 5-7 inches and I bonked my head on the sunroof surrounding various circumstances, even with the seat brought down the distance and inclined genuinely well back. 
in general, this is an agreeable auto, with raffish suggestions that you won't get in different cars. Individuals who know autos will regard you when you move up in a Jewia, and you'll make the most of your everyday existence with this machine. On sale, now. Base price, $41,995. As tested price, $51,490. Powertrain, 2.0-liter docturbocharged i4, AWD, 8-speed programmed. Yield, 280 horsepower at 5,200 revolutions per minute, 306 pounds to foot at 2,000 revolutions per minute. Control weight, 3,660 pounds. Efficiency, 23-31-26. EPA city slash highway slash combined. Experts, Italian, speedy, influences you to resemble a criminal, pleasant inside. Cons, Italian, some interface irritations, 